Today I'll try to introduce another opportunity to do a free internship online and how and what is the internship, how we can achieve it, that is the main objective of this discussion. So the title of this project or internship is Optimal Energy Allocation in Paper Industry by the application of MFO. MFO is MOP Flame Optimization Technique. WCO, WCO is Water Cycle Optimization Technique. And FFO, Freeze Flushing Optimization Technique. So you'll ask why these three? Because these three are the most popular but rarely used uh, nature-based algorithm algorithms which are now showing very high potential for easily solving optimization technique quickly. Uh, so the topic is I think clear optimal energy allocation in paper industry. So how to do it? So how we can do it? Let us say so here what happens in case of the paper industry paper industry has some parts or elements okay so what are those elements one is raw material collection I have not said element, let us say it as unit, working unit, operational units, anything. So raw material collection units, second it your processing unit. In this processing unit, the, the mold is prepared, then it is sent to the machines for pressurizing it and preparing the paper. So after the washing is done, heating is done, and un until this paper is produced. This processing unit is followed by the rectification unit or Summary is also known as attenuation, attenuation unit. In the step before going to the market, the final evaluation is conducted to, to be ensured of the quality of the product. Okay. okay. Now, for each unit, how do you can uh, Subdivide it into more units of your choice, whatever may be the case. What will happen is for each of the unit, the main operational unit, that is the industry, as well as main operational units, consist of these RMU, raw material collection unit, plus processing unit, plus rectification unit. So, uh, so that is the, in total it is the operational unit. So in case of each of this raw material unit, uh, uh, each of this unit, it can either increase the reliability of the entire operational unit or increase the risk. We say this as reliability potential and risk potential. Okay, so each unit have them. So the unit significance in index, that means the index which represents the significance of each of these units is now referred as unit significance unit index, USI. You see. And this can be equal to the reliability potential by this potential. Okay, so for each of these units, there will be 
RR. That means let us say this is reliability and this is our risk. Okay, so this two is showing the PR and which will indicate the safety of the raw material collection unit RMC. Similarly, uh, overall rectification is given for the processing unit and similarly for the rectification unit. So, in case of paper industry, these are the three or many sub uh, elements of there. In some other industries, there are some other units also. But yes, each of the industry cannot go without an operational unit. So, this operational unit is always, in most of the cases, is a function of this RMU, PU and this RV. This raw material collection unit, processing unit, and rectification unit. Here, in case of paper industry, there is a one more index, uh, unit is there. It is the disbursement unit or D. So this is also we can say this. So how this optimization technique will be now imposed here? In this case, what happens is we can try to find the uh, significance of this index. Correct. So, what happens is this uh, reliability, this R star RMC. Okay. R star, uh, what is this? P. Okay, so then R star this R U. Okay, and so 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 what we try to use is we try to use this objective function. Operational unit is equals to M into R R M C plus N into R P plus N into R R. Now this M N and O I say M N O is also function of multiple parameters. Okay. But here what will happen is our goal will be to First, determine the values of M, N, and O. And then, in the next step, determine the values of this, this, and this. Okay, and so the value of this uh, unit's significance index will ultimately give you the importance of the unit. And based on the importance, is energy will be allocated. Energy means unit of electricity that is taken from the grid or as supplied by the government to the industry. Uh, the allocation will be based on uh, this thing. Okay. So how to do this? Uh, how to determine this? MNO? So. Let us take this as an objective equation. Great. And this M and O is the design variable. The constant is that M and O cannot take the value of 0 to 1, well, 0 and 1, but it must vary within 0 to 1. And M and O will be will always belong to the set of real numbers. It may be fraction, it may be constant, there is no constant for that. Okay. But the another requirement is that N plus N plus O will be equal to 1. 
Okay, so these two are constraints, or rather three are constraints. M and O is the design variable. Then objective equation is this one. So we can apply any of the three algorithm M F. Was as I said, I am multi moth flame optimization, firefly optimization, and water cycle optimization. Or algorithm, whatever the case. You can apply those optimization and in the at the optimal condition you note down the values of M, N and O. Now you do the reverse. In the next day, what will happen? The same equation O U equals to multiplied by M. We have already discussed about it. Okay, M and O. Now M is known, N is known, O is known, but RRM, no, RRU, no, RRU, no. So now our design variable will become RRM, RPU, RRU. M and O are constants. The values that it has received in this step, the first step, will be used now also. And then, based on the decision, an optimal point can be achieved. And the value of this R, R, M, C, R, P, U, R, R, U will be noted down. And yes, uh, uh, then, based on the difference of RRMC, RPU, and RRU, the water will be allocated or energy will be allocated. Because both these two are supplied to the industries for their sustenance. Okay? If they fail in this, then the sustainability factor will be over and then the business will also be over. Correct. So with this, I can conclude. Thanks for your patient hearings. Okay, and well, one thing is that if you want to do this internship under me, then go to Energy Instyle dot website. So this is the link you may use if you have any queries or any suggestion regarding this internship topic and of course you can do the internship in this topic. Enroll for it for free by this link. Thank you and again if you like my video please subscribe. Okay, thank you and see you in the next video.